Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on to another DOY Creation 7 video. Okay guys, I got a couple of items that I wanted to stop by and share with you all today. It's just a couple of pieces. I don't have a whole lot because I didn't have a whole lot on my crochet hook. But before I get started, you know I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. I am loving my rap. You guys like this rap? I'm loving this rap. It's nothing like a good rap. So, um, one of the things that I had on my crochet hook was that white top. So, let me show you how that top ended. So, here it is. So, at first, it was just like a bralette. And I added this bottom part down here. So this is how it turned out. In here, I added some shell stitch. So I have the shell stitch all the way around. So there's the shell stitch. I did it all the way around. And I started to leave this part open. But I decided to go ahead and close it up and make it into just a nice uh, all cotton top. I have it on with my black t-shirt and and I just took that long I had a really really long um a really really long drawstring that I really didn't like so I decided to take that drawstring and just close this whole top uh center part up like this I still got up so um so in my strings but here's the back she doesn't even have a back, but there's the back, and that's how it lays, and then it ties up nicely around your neck now. So this is a great all cotton um, top to go over a t-shirt like I have it right here, or it definitely can go over your uh, tank top. I just wanted to make it look a little bit more modest. So there is the top. Again, I still have some strings that I need to sew in. So let me know what you think about this top with those shell stitches. See how I got those shell stitches right here? So that is what I, that's a nice little design that I put to help close it up. So yeah, there is the top. This top, I'll say anywhere from a small Anywhere from a small to a large, anywhere from a small to a large, this mannequin is super duper petite, but as you can see, I do have some give in the back right here. So it can fit anywhere from a small to a large. Great top, looks really good to me with this uh, black t-shirt underneath. So I had some of the yarn left over. So I was like, okay, I had like a couple of things that I was going to do with the yarn. So I decided to make a headband. So here is the headband that I made. And again, it's some, it's some scrap pieces or some loose pieces that I need to sew. But here it is. And again, I use the shell stitch as the trimming shell stitch gives it a really neat looking um design around the edges so there's the shell stitch and i just have it so it ties up in the back now anytime you're putting um i prefer to put cotton on in the summertime you definitely can use acrylic but when I'm using acrylic, I try to use um, the thinner material, you know what I mean? So it doesn't be super hot on your head. But this white um, headband is so beautiful. I really love how it turns out. And like I said, I, I used up all the yarn that my husband purchased. <laughs> so anyway, there it is. Really beautiful really great together okay 
really great together. I was going to outline the top with a different color, but I had decided to just leave it all white. And if you're wearing a different uh, t-shirt or whatever you're going to put on underneath this, you can, that could be your preference. Instead of trying to match it up to the yellow or the red or the blue that I initially said I was going to do, I decided to um, just leave it all white and then make a headband to go along with it. I really like this headband. Super cute. Super easy to make. Another thing, guys, I was working on, if you follow me on Instagram or if you follow me on Facebook, I'll leave my other social medias in the description bar below. I was just playing around with some wires. And here's a pair of earrings that I came up with. Another one in this purple color. Okay. And I made the purple one, another pair of the purple, even longer. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me show you. So these right here. I made them a tab longer than those. Okay. And then I made the gold ones shorter. I got a short pair and a long pair of the gold plated one as well. So here's the short one against the longer one. Okay. I really love these earrings that I have on in my ears right here um but i bought this at i bought this from someone at a vendor at an event that i was a vendor at and i really loved how she did the wire so she did some really cool moves with this wire right here and i was trying to do the same thing so let me show you how this looks on so here it is like I said, I was just playing around. They are they are very, very light. I was just messing around. Can't say that enough. But there it is. Okay. So those are the longer ones. And then the smaller ones. So here are. These so light, you don't even know. You got them in your ear. But there are the smaller ones. How cute are those? So let me show you how the purple ones look. It's in the purple family. It's not like it's a deep purple. I'm sure they had the exact color on there, but I don't have it in front of me. So this is how these look. Really light, so pretty. I have a mirror, so I think it's blinding me in the back right here. So those are the longer ones, and then the shorter ones look like this. Lakeisha, you see I got your band on. This was gifted to me by my YT sister, Miss Lakeisha Siobhan Deloach. Love you, sis. And so this is how the shorter ones look. What do you guys think about that? They are so light you can barely even tell that I have them on. So I've been just playing around with this right here. Really been enjoying uh, messing around with some wires. So I'm going to go get some silver ones from um, DT. And they had a variety pack. So... They had a pack that had black, silver, and red. So I'll be back to uh, make some more. And I'm hoping that I can duplicate this design right here. I don't know where she was going. And it went all the way up. 
Wow, I love these. These earrings right here are some conversation piece. And I try to promote her every opportunity that I get because these are some really, really nice earrings. I really love these. So anyway, guys, that is what I was working on. I went on and finished that. And I went on and made a headband out of that. And then I was playing around with these jewelry. I have some camouflage um, yarn that I'm getting ready to create something. I don't know what I'm getting ready to create. But again, I will be a part of um, the young lady fashion show that I was a part of this winter. For this winter, I was a part of hers about a few months back of her show. And she definitely want me to be a part of her upcoming event, which I am super, super excited. So I want to create some new pieces. So it's going to be some new pieces in her fashion show along with some older pieces um, that I think is really good to be in a fashion show. So that is what I'm going to be working on using that camel yarn. I want to do something really, really different with the camel yarn. And what I mean by that, I want to mix and match some colors in there. Just play around with some colors. And don't be afraid to play around with colors because it sometimes turns out really, really lovely. So that is what I'm working on right now. I'll show you all that process once I decide what I'm getting ready to create using that camo. I got the camo, I got a jumbo, but I want to put some other colors along with those camouflage. But I'll be back to show you the color combo. Uh, I may be taking you guys along with me to Hobby Lobby to see what type of yarn that they still have on sale or Joann's. I'll probably do that today. You might see this same get up uh, when I take you guys along to Hobby Lobby's or to Joann's to see if they have any yarn left for sale so I could just be playing around with some colors. All right, you all, I just wanted to stop in to show you the finished product and the earrings and all that good stuff. Please make sure um, you are following me on Facebook and Instagram. Again, I will leave that social media in the uh, description bar below. Also, if you're not signed up for Knit Crate yet, I still do have two more skeins of yarn. I'll leave my Knit Crate information in the description bar below as well. And I think that's it. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, everyone, until next video, always remember y'all some 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll be checking you all in the next video really, really soon. All right, bye for now.